Now to start off, I wanted to kind of start with a little bit of a warm-up for everyone. I'm going to ask everyone here, I want everyone to just hold your hands out just like this, right in front of you, just like this. Perfect, just like that. Very good. Great. Now I'm going to ask everyone to just turn your arms around just like that so your palms are facing outwards. Cross your arms, clasp your fingers together. Now I'm going to ask everyone to just go like this. With your fingers, go like this. Go like this with just your pointer fingers. Very good. Now go like this. Now go like this. Thank you. Wow, you guys are amazing. <laughs> Honestly, at the last show, I didn't make it through the first round of applause before somebody at the back yelled, make my friend disappear. <laughs> you know what? I thought that was a great idea. Now, I'm not going to make someone disappear, but I did bring something with me. What I brought... It's a bottle of Coca-Cola. I'm going to make the bottle of Coca-Cola vanish for you guys. Sounds simple, right? All I have to do is place the bottle inside the bag, just like that, snap my fingers, and the bottle is gone. But that's not the most amazing part. The most amazing part is if I snap my fingers again, the bottle <laughs> comes back. <laughs> Thank you. Tell you what, since you guys are so great, I'll try it for you again. Place the bottle inside the bag, just like that. Snap my fingers, and again, the bottle has completely vanished. Seriously. It's gone. But again, if I snap my fingers, the bottle will once again return. <laughs> Tell you what, we'll try it one more time. I'm sensing some skepticism. Don't know why, I don't know why. It's almost like you guys don't trust me. <laughs> Once again, snap my fingers, and the bottle has completely vanished. Okay, you guys didn't react as good this time, so tell you what, we'll try something else. <laughs> we'll try something else. <laughs> the next thing I want to show you guys, I want to try and play a game with you guys. In fact, this isn't an ordinary game. This is a game that can be quite dangerous. And to start off, we're going to need to select some... Dangerous for me. To start off, we're going to pull somebody up from the crowd. We're going to select that volunteer by tossing this spike. <laughs> okay, we're not going to toss the spike. We are going to toss a ball into the crowd. Whoever it hits in the face first <laughs> is going to be our volunteer. Who's that closest to? Perfect. You can, what's your name? Anjum? Anjum, you can join us up on stage. Everyone, let's give Anjum a huge round of applause. <laughs> You'll notice the longer you take, the longer people will clap for you. It's an amazing thing. <laughs> now, Anjum, I'll take the ball from you. Did you bring it back up? Oh, that's okay. That's okay. We'll get, I'll get that after. But, Anjum, what I have, I just want you to just test this out. Be very delicate with it. Just make sure. Just give it a tap. You wouldn't want to say, slam your hand down on that, correct? Perfect. What's going what's gonna to happen is I'm going to place this right in the block. I'm going to ask you to stand right over there for us, because I'm going to place this spike back inside paper bag, just like so, just like that. And in a moment, I'm just going to mix these bags up. What's going to happen is I'm going to name one, two, three, or four. Whichever bag you name, I will place my hand over and crush. But before we begin, I just want to mix these bags up so that you can't know which bag has the spike. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to ask you to face the audience just for one moment. Just like that. Mix them up. Just like so. Just like that. So it's safe to say at this point you have no idea which bag contains the spike, correct? Perfect. Now, once again, I'm going to ask you to name one, two, three, or four. Whichever bag you name, I will place my hand over and crush. But before we begin, this is about resonance. And when you want to make sure your message resonates, it's about more than just the words you use. It's about the body language. It's about understanding your audience. And I think I understand my audience. I just want to say, before we begin, most good-looking people tend to pick bag number one. 
The smart people tend to pick bag number two. Outgoing people tend to pick bag number three. And people like you tend to pick bag number four. <laughs> people with all of the above traits. But this is your choice. Which one would you like? One, two, three, or four? Three. Do you want three? You want three? Was that your choice or was that their choice? It was a collaboration? Are you sure the spike is not in bag number three? Your confidence is making me nervous. You want to change it to four? You can only do this so many times. One of these is not the right option. Do you want four or three? Four. One. Two. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to ask you to just point to someone. They're not going to come on up, but you point to someone, they're going to stand up for us. Who, do you, who in the audience do you want to help us out this time? The gentleman with the hat. Yeah, you can stand up for us. You don't have to join us on stage. You don't have to come up. You don't have to come up. Just stand up. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to ask you to say one, two, or three. Which one do you want? <laughs> I thought I got away from that one. One. Two, three. Now, sir, I'm just going to ask you, point to anyone else you want. We have two, one left. <laughs> right here, in, right in front of you. For, you can stand up. You don't have to come on up, but just stand up for us. You are going to select either one or two. You're going to select one. Are you sure it's not in bag number one? Uh, <laughs> that's, that's not what I want to hear. You'll go with one? Are you sure you don't want to? You'll just go with one. I was trying to hint to two, but you still want one anyways. Let's give a huge round of applause to all of our kind volunteers. for not ending my career. Thank you very much. You can go back to your seat. You did an amazing job. Now, when I was younger, I used to actually have a very difficult time in school. The reason I had a hard time in school was because I could never remember what it was we talked about in class. I wanted to solve this problem, so what I did was I actually went to the library one day, and I actually found a book on memory, a book that taught me how to remember anything at any time. Unfortunately, I can't remember the name of the book, because, <laughs> you know, it takes practice. But what I did was I ended up memorizing every single word on every single page of the classic Sherlock Holmes book. Is there anyone here who likes to read? Anyone who enjoys reading? I've seen a few hands pop up. What's your name? Abra? Abril. Abril. I was going to. Abril, you can join us up on stage. Let's give Abril a huge round, warm welcome. You'll notice people still keep clapping for you as you join. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Hello, Abril. Abril, what I'm going to ask you to do is I'm just going to ask you to stand right over here for us. Abril, I'm going to hand you the book. I just want you to riffle through. Just make sure every. Make sure, have a look. Make sure it's, you know, a book. Is it a book? Yep. Perfect. Abril, what's going to happen is we're just going to stand back to back just like this, just so our shoulders are touching. The reason I want our shoulders to touch is because if I was to say, turn around this way, you would feel me trying to peek over your shoulder, correct? If I was to turn around this way, you'd feel me trying to peek over your shoulder? Perfect. What I'm going to ask you to do is I'm just going to ask you to open that book up, turn to any page you want. You're going to tell me what page you're on, and I'm going to go through my memory palace, and I'm going to try and recite elements of that page back to you. Okay. Of course, let me know once you found a page you like. 199. Page 199. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try and go through my memory palace, and I'm going to try and recite elements of page 199 <laughs> back to you. It's a big memory palace. <laughs> if
if I remember correctly, the first word on that page was because. <laughs> Is that correct? Yes. yes? Isn't that amazing? I'll try and take it a step further. If I remember correctly, the second word is my? Yes? Because my, because my friend? If I, if I remember correctly, there's three paragraphs on that page, correct? Three paragraphs? And they're, they're quite large paragraphs. The second paragraph starts with the portly? Yes. Isn't that amazing? That's incredible, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to safely say no, <laughs> but tell you what, we'll try it again, we'll try it again. We'll send back to back, turn to a different page this time. <laughs> what page did you like? Page 69. Page 69. <laughs> if I remember correctly, the first word on that page would be two. Yes. yes. Two, Clotilde Lothman, Von Sachs Men Meningen, second daughter of the king of Scandinavia. Yes? Is that not incredible? Yeah. That's the most amazing thing you've ever seen, correct? Yes. Tell you what, oh. it's almost like I have another book. <laughs> My book is a little bit different than your book, though. Should we show them? Yeah. My book? It's completely blank. <laughs> Thank you very much. You can go back to your seat. You did an amazing job. Let's keep the applause going. You did an amazing job. Once again, my name is Matthew Stewart. Thank you so much. You were a terrific audience.